Hi guys, it's Joe Milk, and today I'm going to show you how to make a mini base for Black Ops 1. First, you're going to want to have the PS3 SDK installed. I'm not going to give the link, and I'm not going to show you how to do it. You're going to have to figure it out on your own, like I did and everyone else did. So, you're going to want to press next, and you're going to want to use a PRX project. I don't use the pre-compile header. Uh, some people prefer to use a different compiler. I just use the default one. Um, so this is going to be uh, in two videos. And first I'm going to show you how to use a base. And then I'm going to show you how to code them in. Basically this is a base that I use for all my SPRX. Um, basically it's a lot of copy pasting. There's maybe the host hood uh, dot h that means header. Uh, that's the only file that's a bit different because it contains offsets and the function dot h. Uh, if not, all my bases are like this. So I add all those uh, headers because um, eventually I use something in each of them. I define the toc, the table of content. At the beginning which this is the one for black ops one uh, so in this video i'm probably going to just show you how to get around this base this sprx base and then in the second video we're going to see how to actually code the menu because uh i don't i don't want it to be copy paste i want people to know what stuff do uh, so basically the first the first file that I self made well I didn't really make it and that's why I leave all the uh, open source uh, the source uh, the open source um, is that std lib because somehow some some of the functions in there didn't work like the cost didn't work at first now it works because I added in the linker some options but you know, I'm. It's basically all like uh, the print, print, to print to the debugger and shit. Yeah. So basically, that's basically something I add. I don't really. There's not much understanding in this, but what you should understand is maybe the PS3, which is used in all my SPRX. So here you got the LV1, LV2 peak poke. Uh, this basically reads write memory and um, that's why uh, my SPRX usually get uh, the SID stealer it gets like a flag as a SID stealer is because with the LV1 and uh, LV2 peak poke you could actually get the SID of someone but that's none of my interest and if you believe that whatever you believe you know, if you think I still see it good for you, I don't give a shit. Next, uh, th those functions to stop the thread. This one's more useful. This one is a bit less useful. I would use this to clean up. Uh, then there's create thread. I don't really use thread. You're going to see m how I do my menu base. But if you ever, like, care to know, that's the function. Uh, then sleep which you can't use in a hook you can only use in the thread uh, th then there's set memory and get memory uh, those are not the real way like this is only to get like uh, bytes that are variables i don't know how to to, uh, to explain it but like uh, if you really want to get read memory like uh, on the eboot you would use this and write here. We use syscall to write and read to the ebook. And this is like PS3 set memory. So this sets memory wherever you want in LV2 memory. Now there's the hook start, which we're going to use a lot, and hook function. I might show you how to 
do some anti-modder uh, protection. Uh, next, there's the yes-no dialog. Uh, here's some function like get the username, get the online name, the sign-in name, basically. Um, here is kind of cool. It's to see if you're online. So you could just take that code and is the PSP connected to online? Uh, then you have connect to CAPI and connect to TMAPI uh, to, no, sorry, Webman. And with this, you could basically shut down PS3, restart PS3, and you could use it in your SPRX. So this is going to be all in the description. I'm probably going to put a link. So now variables. Variables, uh, you're going to see those. I'm going to use them in the next video. Set marker, check marker, because you can't use a sleep. So I use clock to put a wait time. Uh, so you're going to see what it does. This, if you want to use Cappy or Webman, you can choose which one you prefer. Or you could even make a check if you want. Does it connect? Like uh, if you go on PS3 here, uh, does it connect? Yes, no. If, if it returns minus one, it didn't connect. So then it, it's use TMAPI. You know, you could, you could change those variables if you want or make a check. So now in the function, I put the basic function. You need that structure. And this basically uh, the TOC and this points the function. And when you use this, like glocalize, it's going to call that function using the table of content of the eBoot. Uh, this is a few functions that I need. I like to precise that I use a free element and free constant string. And this is a lot of people don't use that in their menus and it makes it laggy because you use too many strings or you use too many hoods. This is something it's a must have, you know, and here's the hoods. I did not use a structure. I made it a little bit different. It's not the best way, but it works. And like black ops one is kind of messy. So I basically, I remade the function there was a PPC function that would allocate the hits. So I made it the same way than the game would allocate in here. And no, wait. Okay, one of those, the temp or the spawn hit, one of them is the real way. And the other one is just to make it better. I think this one's to make it better. And the temp is actually to make it the original way. 